Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with a Dog. こんにちは。今日はお酒のおつまみや軽食にぴったりな薄焼きを作ります。材料は少なく、作り方は簡単ですよ。Let's prepare the squid. First, clean the squid and detach the fins from the mantle. Next, run the blade of a knife along the mantle and open. With a paper towel, remove the excess moisture from both sides. Cut the mantle into three pieces lengthwise. Then, cut each piece into one centimeter strips. And next, cut the fins into one centimeter strips as well. Now, scrape off the suckers on the arms using the blade. Trim off the tip of the arms. And cut the arms into 2 to 3 cm pieces. Open the base of the arms and separate each piece. Place the squid pieces onto a tray and add the sake. Then toss to coat evenly. Now, let's make the batter. Combine the all purpose flour and the potato starch in a bowl. Add two pinches of salt and the bonito powder. Mix the powders with a balloon whisk. Add 100 ml of water while stirring. Continue to mix until the ingredients are completely moistened. Now, add the squid pieces and the chopped spring onion leaves or garlic chives, which are cut into 2 cm pieces. And mix the ingredients together. Now, let's make the seafood usuyaki. Add a generous amount of sesame oil to a pan and coat it with the oil. Then, ladle half of the batter into the heated pan and shape it into a flat circle. Fry it on medium low heat for about 2 to 3 minutes. Occasionally swirl the pan to cook evenly. When the other side is golden brown, flip it over. Press the usuyaki with a turner to help it brown evenly. Swirl the pan and continue cooking. And add the extra sesame oil. Thoroughly brown both sides to give the surface a crisp texture. Now it is ready. Place the usuyaki onto a cutting board and cut it into bite sized pieces. Arrange the usuyaki onto a plate. 
Combine the same amount of vinegar and soy sauce to make the sauce, and add karashi hot mustard to taste. Alternatively, you can add other vegetables like carrots and onions, or use other seafood instead of the squid. This is a quick and easy recipe that requires not many ingredients, so you should definitely try it out. Good luck in the kitchen!